what's up guys my name is Saurav and this is my youtube channel data science no waste so if you are new to my youtube channel please do like and subscribe your efforts are massively appreciated so in the last video we talked about data cleaning function and i told you we will be doing text visualization so in this video we are going to know about what is word cloud and how do we use it in our project so let's get started so first of all what is word cloud it is an image consisting of words that are present in our text data so the speciality of this word cloud is that the word size is proportional to its frequency that is the word with highest frequency will be bigger and the word with low frequency will be smaller so now we will create word cloud for true news first and then we will create it for fake news as well so to do that we have to import word cloud from word cloud library next we are setting the size of the plot by using matplotlib function now creating a wc variable and storing the word cloud in it then we have to pass some few parameters in our word cloud okay the first parameter is max word that is how many words we want to plot in our word cloud and then next is the dimensions of the word cloud once we are done with aesthetics we call generate method and in generate method we pass our data so here we see double quote dot join df line of code what this line of code is doing so so first we are taking only true news data that is done by using df square bracket df dot category equal equals to zero dot text okay then we are joining all these true news text using space and that is done by using double quote dot join method okay next we are setting the axis of and that is done by using plt dot axis and passing off as a string so i'm not going to tell you what this line of code is going to do you have to know yourself first run this block of code and then remove this code plt dot axis equals to off and then run it again so see the difference between the two graphs and then you will know what is this line of code doing next to plot the word cloud in the notebook we are using plt dot im show method and passing word cloud variable that we created earlier here setting interpolation by linear makes the plot look more elegant you can try some other interpolation if you want to so let's run this block of code okay so we are getting some error okay i have to make the import first so let's do that okay so word cloud will take some time because under the hood there are many things going on like first it creates a frequency count of all the words and then sorting them and then selecting the specified number of word cloud word to be represented in word cloud so i am going to fast forward in time okay so here we have our word cloud we see here donald trump country and white house these words are greater in size cause they have highest frequency now if you want to change the background like if you want want a white color background or you want to change the text color i would suggest you to try it yourself so this is our basic word cloud looks like but now we are going to do something more advanced next we are going to use image of thumbs up to represent true news and image of skull to represent the fake news this way we can make our word cloud look more intuitive and more storytelling type so let's do that so first we have to import the image of thumbs up and the skull i have provided the link of those two images in the description you can download from there so let's do that so let's add those two files so in order to add those two files we have to click on add data now we have to click on upload then we are going to click on select file to upload so once you click this there will be a file directory wherever your file is go get there and select those those files so once you do that now we have to name this folder so we are going to name it image word cloud so let's do that okay
okay so we have to skip duplicate and we have to make sure include duplicates once we do that we are good to go so our data is uploaded now let's check so it will it may take some time so we see here image word cloud has been added okay so we are good to go so let's create our advanced word cloud to do that first we have to import image from pil library so pil here stands for pillow and this library used for image creation and manipulation and we will use this library to create a mask and we will pass that mask to the word cloud okay so let's do that so first we store the file path of thumb image image.open opens the thumb image file and we are going to store it into icon variable then next we are creating a white sheet so here image.new creates a new image and we want the size to be of the same size that of our thumbs image and in order to make it white we pass color as 255 255 and 255 that's basically telling white and then we are pasting the thumb image over the white image so what exactly we are trying to do here so understand it like this we use stencils to create map when we were child that is exactly we are trying to do here we are creating a boundary using thumb image and telling our word cloud to fill those words within the boundary okay so next we are going to convert the mask into rgb array because computer only understand numbers so using using np dot arrays we convert the image into number next we are going to copy paste the same code of the word cloud that we created earlier but this time we are using an additional argument that we are going to pass that is mask and in mask we are going to pass rgb array that we created i made some additional changes like i have put maximum word equals to 2000 because with that we are getting a good word cloud so i will encourage you to do the same so let's run this block of code and we are good to go okay so we are getting some errors so let me run this block of code and then this okay so we are having a problem again okay so let me copy paste the file path again and we then we are good to go so once we are done with that let's press shift enter and we are good to go since we are going to plot 2000 words it's going to take a lot of time so i am going to fast forward in time and we will see that how our word cloud looks like so let's do that so here we have our true news word cloud with thumbs up image so this is how it looks like okay so this looks this looks more intuitive like you know if it's true news it's good to go thumbs up right so next we are going to do the same thing we are just going to copy paste the above code but now we have to make few changes the first change is the file path this time we are going to use skull file so we have to replace with skull file path and everything else remain the same so let's do that and once it's done just press shift enter since now in the next block of code since we are creating fake news word cloud we have to change 0 to 1 okay so let's do that and once we done that we hit press shift enter since it's going to take a lot of time right so we are going to fast forward in time and we will see that how it's look like so here we have our word cloud that represent fake news so you know fake news is dangerous and skull represent danger so this gives us more intuitive feeling right that makes our graph our word cloud look more beautiful so that's all for this video so that's all for this video i hope you enjoy this word cloud so in the next video we are going to build our model we are going to make some prediction so if you like my video please do like and subscribe and share with your friends your efforts are massively appreciated till then bye have a nice day